Welcome to Mitchell Consulting's Tips and Tricks for SAP Business One. Mitchell Consulting webinar series on tips and tricks will teach you uh, how to get the most out of your SAP Business One software. So let's go into SAP. Okay. And now we're going to talk about the last evaluated cost. Before I get into that, I'm going to actually talk about the costing and the price list set up with an SAP. So let me go into inventory, and let's talk about the price list. You can see that we have a last evaluated price okay, and a last purchase price. These are controlled by the system. The users do not have access to these pricing. And then we have the price structures. We can create as many prices as we want. These prices can be independent of one uh, of each other, or they can be tied to each other. For example, we have a base price here with a factor of one. We have a discount purchase price, which is half the base price. We have a regular purchase price, 75% of the base price, and so on. So let's now open up an item. Let's go over here. And let's take a look at how this works. So we're going to open up this item here. As you notice, we have the last purchase price, which you can see is controlled by the system. We do not have access to this, as well as the last evaluated price. This right now has no price. So we're going to actually update this using the inventory audit report. The purpose of the last evaluated price is to actually have an average when you're dealing with a FIFO system. When you're dealing with FIFO costing, first in, first out, you're dealing with the layers, the individual costing based on the receiving as to a moving average. In this example here, I do have my item set for a moving average. And you can see that the moving average will actually have an average cost or an item cost. So we're going to replicate that using the last evaluated price. But let's talk about the other pricing first. We have a last purchase price, which we come here and we'll look at the last purchase price. And again, we see that's $200. The last purchase price is based on the last AP invoice that was received for this item. Let's go to the purchasing data tab. Let's go look at the purchasing history. And let's scroll down until we see the last purchase, which is here, purchase 246. You can see that we received this item for $200. If we open up the item. You can see here, item number two is $200. So that's being controlled by the actual last purchase price. is being controlled by the last AP invoice. So let's look at the other prices. When we look at the base price, we have $200. As we saw before, the purchase discount price is a factor. So it's half the base price. So if we look at this, we should see $100. So let's go here, and we can see that's $100. You can see the regular sales price is one and a half to two hundred dollars, so we should have three hundred dollars if we go look there. Okay, so now let's update this. Let's close this. Let's go to inventory reports, and we're going to run the inventory audit report. So we're going to come here. We're going to select item two. I'm going to run this for all warehouses. Let's expand. So you can see that we basically ran, taking into consideration all the ins and outs of the inventory, and we came up with a value. Let's close this. Let's go back to the item master. And now we can see, if we go to the last evaluated price, we can see the price of 157. If we look at the inventory data, we can see it's the same as the item cost. Again, to repeat, in this situation, our inventory value method is moving average, so the item cost is the average cost. But if we're using a FIFO method, we would not have access to this cost. We would be dealing with the layering of inventory. So we can then be able to run our reports based on FIFO or based on a last evaluated price. Let's see in one of the reports. Let's look at the inventory warehouse report. And let's go to that item. Let's 
select that item, and you can see here, you can run this. We're going to run it on the last purchase price, which in this case was $200. See here the two hundred dollars. Well, we want to value our. We want to see what our inventory value is based on a moving average. So we're going to go here to the last evaluated price, and we're going to run it, and we're going to see here the price. We can also do this with the other pricing. We can see based on our, let's say our regular sales price, what is, what would the inventory be valued for? Again, we have the information here. So the last evaluated price is a price within the system controlled by SAP, which allows us to run reports. For any further questions, please feel free to contact us at Mitchell Consulting Group. Thank you for your time.